So mostly in the laboratory, when we try to create recombinant molecules, we face problems. What type of problems? कि जब हम अपने वेक्टर डीएनए को डाइजेस्ट करते हैं किसी खास रिस्ट्रिक्शन एंजाइम से तो स्टिकी एंड्स में भी प्रोड्यूस्ड सेम में भी द केस विद द फॉरेन डीएनए दैट इट इट विल आल्सो प्रोड्यूस स्टिकी एंड्स अब होता ये है कि बिकॉज ऑफ द कॉम्प्लीमेंटेरिटी ऑफ द बेसिस तो वो जो मॉलिक्यूल्स हैं अगर वो प्लाज्मेट या वेक्टर मॉलिक्यूल है तो वो सेल्फ लाइगेट कर जाएगा सेल्फ सेल्फ लाइगेशन मीन्स दैट द लाइगेशन विदाउट द इंसर्शन ऑफ द फॉरेन डीएनए तो हमारे पास रिकॉम्बिनेंट्स नहीं आते और ये प्रॉब्लम खास तौर पे उस वक्त ज्यादा होती है अगर हम लो कंसंट्रेशन डीएनए की यूज करें सो दिस प्रॉब्लम वी कैन ओवरकम बाई यूजिंग हाई कॉन्सेंट्रेशन of the vector dna or the source dna so that we can get high number of transformants now alkaline phosphatase uh, enzyme it is an it is another source that we can use to overcome this problem that is recircularization of the vector dna so this alkaline phosphatase uh, is an enzyme that can remove five five prime phosphate group from the target dna when vector dna it is incubated with alkaline phosphatase its five prime end will be removed if five prime end is not available even the sticky ends are there so the vector dna it will not recircularize or will not ligate and even one plasmid cannot ligate with another digested plasmid so dimer formation it is also prevented so by treating with alkaline phosphatase one can prevent the recircularization of the vector dna as well as the dimer formation dimer mean that two plasmids they will not ligate even they have sticky ends तो ये उसी वक्त लाइगेट करेगा या सर्कुलराइज करेगा जब ये फॉरेन डीएनए इंसर्ट करेगा क्योंकि हमने फॉरेन डीएनए को एल्कलाइन फास्फाटेज के साथ ट्रीट नहीं किया सो द वेक्टर डीएनए विल रिसर्कुलराइज ओनली व्हेन द फॉरेन डीएनए विल बी इंसर्टेड सो दिस इज वन ऑफ द एप्लीकेशन ऑफ एल्कलाइन phosphatase that can enhance the number of recombinant molecules when we treat vector with this enzyme so we can understand it with the help of a diagram that is application of alkaline phosphatase to create recombinant molecule so here we have a plasmid that is digested with some restriction enzymes like eco r1 so that one can create sticky ends so at this stage there is possibility that it can self ligate or it can ligate with neighboring vector molecule so in the presence of ligase the dimer formation it is there dimer mean two plasmid molecule that have been digested they can ligate together so a dimer formation is is there without the insertion of the foreign dna how it can be prevented it can be prevented if we will treat plasmid dna with alkaline phosphatase so that it will remove five prime phosphate like phosphate it is here and here so it will be replaced with five prime hydroxyl group so that plasmid dna will not self ligate so no reaction is there even in the presence of ligase enzyme when we will mix foreign dna in the reaction mixture in the presence of alkaline phosphatase treated plasmid then this foreign dna in the presence of ligase it will join with the plasmid due to the complementary base pairing 
and the next that are produced after the joining they are repaired by the host machinery so in this way we can use alkaline phosphatase so that we can get high number of transformants alkaline phosphatase it can be obtained from different sources like in case of gram negative bacteria uh, it is mostly present within the periplasmic space though uh, this space it is present between the outer membrane and the cytoplasmic membrane of gram negative bacteria so alkaline phosphatases from the periplasmic space so microbes can produce alkaline phosphatases in addition to microbes other microbe uh, other organisms like even humans alkaline phosphatases can be isolated from liver kidney or other tissues as well so this alkaline phosphatase enzyme it is very important in gene manipulation so that we can get high frequency of recombinant molecules in vitro